Okay, so you may be wondering what these are. And this is the Iron Bull Strength High Performance Squat Wedges. Now I bought these, curious about them, because I just don't see how they could be practical. And after trying them out a little bit, I believe I was definitely right. So let me start off with some pros here. For one thing, this is a good company that we've reviewed products of before. So they make quality products. And these are actually very well made. Mm. The problem here though is the idea of a squat wedge. So if you're not familiar with this, the concept is you stick your foot back here with your toes obviously facing forward and your heel somewhere along here, depending on the degree of angle that you want. The real problem though in trying them, and I did actually try them, is that you have to get them just right to match your exact foot position when you're squatting. And honestly, I was surprised by how not easy that is. I didn't realize how much I kind of move my feet around in order to get them into the right position. But it makes these a bit impractical because even if you could find the perfect, perfect position for yourself, then when you don't use them, you have to put them back away and then put them back in the perfect position. Maybe you could use something like tape or a chalk outline, but that just doesn't seem practical to me. And, and so that's just one thing, that they're hard to get into the right position. Secondly, I think they're much too high in the back, so you then have to get your foot into a position where your heel is somewhere back here, otherwise your feet are way too elevated, or your heels are way too elevated. So you have to get that position properly. And then there's the fact that they're actually not as big as I was expecting. So this is barely the size of my shoe. And if I could get in the right position, I could show you here, but it's not much bigger than your foot. So if you're squatting even, a medium weight, you know, if you've got 250 pounds on your back and you're trying to get in the proper position for these things to get your feet up on it, I could see it getting really dangerous really quickly. It's not stable. It's not a stable lifting platform. <sighs> so yeah. And if you're starting to use these, it really makes me wonder why you do not just get a pair of weightlifting shoes. A decent pair of shoes will cost you $100 or honestly less at this point. We have some good shoes we recommend on our site. In fact, we may need to do a review on the most affordable decent pair of weightlifting shoes that we can find. Regardless, it's a much better, much more stable option. Because obviously, you know, it's laced to your foot. It's not just some platform you're stepping on where your foot could just come off this, or it could, you know, you could go back too far and just fall completely over it, God forbid. So, Yes, unfortunately for this product, we are not going to be recommending these. To be honest, I think it's a stupid product, pretty much useless, possibly dangerous, and we're going to be giving it a 2 out of 5. And the only reason we are giving it a 2 out of 5 is because they're well built and because we know this company. But yeah, people stay away from these things. If there's perhaps some use case that I'm not aware of, then let me know and roast me in the comments. 
but I'm not seeing the value of this, especially when you consider a price point of 80 to $100. At that point, why not just get a pair of weightlifting shoes? So yeah, that's it.